the cat from the cat from the cat from the cat You don't realize you don't they realize. manipulated the heck out of us, man. Three thousand people dead, and we still haven't gotten any close. From the biggest false flag of all time. Yeah, I know what some of y'all are thinking. This is one of those crackpot lunatic fringe conspiracy theorist videos. Get over it. Get it out your system right now. You're too busy listening to the mainstream media. They're telling you that conspiracy theorists are crazy. They are not to be listened to. But uh, you need to understand something. Conspiracy theorists were the ones who predicted 9-11. The largest intelligence apparatus in the world, with the biggest budget in the history of the world, has been looking for Osama bin Laden for years and years and years, and can't find him. Some doofus jerk-off reporter with a camera crew waltzes right into his hideout and interviews him. So why, why do all these fools believe this charade? that a CNN reporter and his little camera crew can do what all the money and all the assets and all the eavesdropping and all the intelligence and all the satellites and all the undercover operatives in the world can never do. It's because they're not trying. They don't want to. Osama bin Laden is their creation and he is serving them well. I mean, is this some kind of incredible joke that people are so stupid they'll fall for this? And now we're being bombarded with messages that Osama bin Laden is planning to attack the United States of America and Israel. Let me tell you something. If he's an enemy of Israel and the Mossad can't find him, then this thing is the biggest joke that you ever heard of in your life. And I'm telling you, be prepared for a major attack. But it won't be Osama bin Laden. It will be those behind the New World Order who once again want to take the guns and the freedom away from the American people because we're the only ones left in the world who can oppose the destruction of freedom in the world and then the implementation of a one world totalitarian socialist government and that is the goal. And whatever is going to happen that they're going to blame on Osama bin Laden, don't you even believe it. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm so glad uh, that you could join us today for this Wednesday, July 25th, 2001 broadcast. Tyranny is enveloping the globe. And the United States is a shining jewel the globalists want to bring down. And they will use terrorism as the pretext to get it done. So that's coming up in the second half of the show. Very important information. I'm going to put the call out that you call the White House and tell them, look, we've seen the news stories that you've wanted to blow things up, that you have blown things up, and that you're saying that four million of us are going to die and we need martial law and the Associated Press at one of your little drills you had, and that we're aware of who the terrorists are if you pull this. This can stop this Hitlerian Reichstag event. I want to put the toll-free number up for Congress. And I won't want you to believe Alex Jones. I want you to go get these news stories off my website. I want you to call these major newspapers. I want you to find out these statements were true by the White House about preparing for martial law. And I want you to let them know that if there is any terrorism, we know who to blame. The point is, if any terrorism comes, it's from this government. And if there was an outside threat like a bin Laden who was a known CIA asset in the 80s running the Mujahideen War and whose family builds all the military bases over in Saudi Arabia right now and sits on the board of Iridium Satellite, he's the boogeyman they need in this Orwellian phony system. I want the White House numbers up there now. A big part of this solution, after you research all the government terrorism and check out what I'm saying is true, call the White House and tell them, we know the government's planning terrorism. We know Oklahoma City and World Trade Center was terrorism. 
We know the Joint Chiefs of Staff wanted to blow up airliners, Baltimore Sun. If you do it, we're going to blame you because we know who's up to it. Or if you let some terrorist group do it, like the World Trade Center, we know who to blame. Look at that molten steel come out the side of that building. Goodness gracious. So now you know. Now you know it was a crackpot, lunatic fringe people who were right. The conspiracy theorists were right. You're going to have to get used to that. That, that whole conspiracy theorist being right thing. Yeah, I know you're used to the mainstream media telling you, don't listen to them, but it had you listened to them, you would have knew this would have happened. Now, what is this whole 9-11 situation? This is the day that three buildings fell down with two only being hit by planes. The official story wants to let you know that the buildings fell down because they were hit by planes. What about the third building? What about the World Trade Center 7? That wasn't hit by a plane and it fell down. Yeah. Then they want to say the Twin Towers fell down because the top of the building's weight was so heavy that it collapsed the building into its own self. It collapsed into its own footprint. Have you ever seen a controlled demolition? Because that's exactly what every one of those buildings looked like. Looked like every single one of those buildings that came down, came down in controlled demolition fashion. And I'm not the only one who believes that. Let's rewind it way back to 2001. And we're going to see somebody agreeing with what I have to say. The entire building has just collapsed as if a demolition team set off. When you see the old demolitions of these old buildings, it folded it down on itself and it is not there anymore. Now take a look at this building and let's use common sense. You see how tall this building is? Look at the little red part. That little red part is supposedly the part that crushed all the green part due to its weight. But it looks to me that the green part has more weight than the red part. How is that even possible? Just common sense. I could not see how that little red part can make that whole green part crush. Same thing with the other building. How is that possible without a controlled demolition? How is that possible? How is it possible that that building collapsed into itself without it being a controlled demolition? All of that green part is not burnt on fire or anything. Let's take a look at what a controlled demolition looks like. So now we know what a controlled demolition looks like. So now let's compare that to the North and South Tower collapsing. There you see that's the North Tower, the top of the North Tower. Remember the red part, see the damage right there. And look, notice how small the red part is to the green part. And there goes the North Tower, collapsing into its own self like a controlled demolition. That's crazy. Here we go with the South Tower. Now we get the South Tower collapsing into itself just like a controlled demolition.
Now I know what some of y'all saying. On the other controlled demolition videos, there were flashes on the buildings when they came down. Yeah, you're right. Look at this. What the heck is going on right there? You see that? Going down the building? What is that? Let's rewind it. Let's replay that again. Because that don't make no sense at all. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Look at all those flashes. Uh-huh. For popular mechanics, I don't care how popular your mechanics are. That stuff doesn't make any sense. This doesn't make any sense either. Clearly, that's an explosion. That's the third. Building just fell. Let me get inside. You saw the explosions yourself. You saw how the building collapsed into itself, into its own footprint. My demolition men out there, demolition experts out there. You know what that's all about. You can explain that to the people. But here's the key thing I want y'all to understand. If these buildings are controlled demolitions, that would mean it would have to be planned in advance. And I'm talking it could be weeks or months. Don't know the exact timing, but I know the experts know. Please chime in. Do your own research. Remember, always do your own research. Just want to let you know that. But yeah, if they're controlled demolitions. That means they're planned. Meticulously planned. Each floor has to have bombs on them to break it down. You have to break down the foundation to bring that whole thing down. It takes a lot of work. What am I saying? I'm saying there's a cover-up. I'm saying those buildings were brought down by controlled demolition. Oh, you're crazy! You see, there were airplanes that ran into the buildings. Don't you get it? Airplanes ran into those buildings. I mean like this. Yeah, I realize airplanes ran into the Twin Towers, but airplanes did not run into World Trade Center 7. Ladies and gentlemen, World Trade Center 7, there it is right there. Oh, oh, what the heck? And here we go again. This is World Trade Center 7. Everybody, oh, what the heck? And there we go, World Trade Center. Uh -huh. World Trade Center, right there by itself. Nothing happened to it, and there it goes down into the ground. So let me ask you something. 9-11 non-truthers? What the heck is going on here? World Trade Center 7 is falling into itself just like the North and South Tower did. Here's the problem. World Trade Center 7 was not hit by a plane. It was never hit by a plane. And you said North and South Tower fell the way they did because they were hit by a plane. You remember? Man, are you crazy? Don't you understand? They fell down like that because they were hit by planes. Well, this one wasn't. What is your excuse this time, huh? What do you got to say now? Well, uh, 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 come on, spit it out. What do you got to say? Oh, I know. The fires. Well, World Trade Center 7 had fires in it. That's why it came down the way it did. It fell into itself the way it did because of the fires. Because of the fires. You see how? Check out the top of this dang building. Look how evenly. Pretty much the building fell down evenly. Same way those controlled demolitions fall down. 
If it was a fire, it would have had to be a perfect fire to bring that building down in that fashion, in that perfectly symmetric way. Now I realize it has a little dent. That's because the dang building is collapsing into itself. The whole little fire theory that you're talking about does not make any sense. Well, you know what? I'm going to stick with the fire theory because that is what the officials say. They say the building came down because of the fires. I am not believing any of you 9-11 crazy truthers. So you're going to keep believing in the fire theory. The building fell down because it was on fire. All right. Let's look at what happens when buildings are on fire. So what the heck is going on right here? You got this building on fire. On fire way more in World Trade Center 7, yet it is not collapsing into itself. Why ain't it collapsing into itself, huh? Oh, I know why. Because it's not a controlled demolition like World Trade Center 7. Come on now, you said World Trade Center 7 fell down because of the fires. Yeah, this building is on fire and it's not falling down. And then we got this one. Look at this. This thing is a dang torch. Yet it's not falling down like World Trade Center 7. What do you got to say about this? Well, it's a different type of building. That don't make any sense. And this one too. Look at this. Fire all around this thing. World Trade Center was nowhere near on fire as this thing, yet it did not collapse into its own self like the World Trade Center 7 did. See what happens when you listen to the mainstream media? See what happens? Stuff doesn't make sense. And then you start sitting there looking like a dummy. Now look at you, you're trying to think about something. One of these buildings collapsed. Can you guess which one? Take a look at the pictures. Just take a look at them. Figure out which one collapsed. Oh, we already know. It's World Trade Center 7. But it doesn't make any sense that World Trade Center 7 is the one that collapsed out of all these buildings. Not only did it collapse, it collapsed into its own self. It collapsed into its own self just like the North and South Tower. Which would mean that it's a controlled demolition just like the North and the South Tower. There's no way all three of those buildings can fall the same way. You said it fell because it was hit by a plane. This one wasn't. Then you want to talk about your fire. But let me tell you something about your little fire theory. If World Trade Center 7 fell down because it was on fire, then hey, demolition men, demolition men, why don't you stop planning demolitions? Yeah, just stop it. Stop writing down all that stuff. Stop doing this thing weeks and months in advance. And all you got to do is set the building on fire. And you don't even have to torch the whole building like those other buildings. You just get a couple fires in a couple rooms. That's all you got to do. And it'll bring that building down. Yeah, just like the World Trade Center 7. Does that make any sense? No. Are you going to go out there and you're going to start catching buildings on fire to make them demolish and fall into their own selves? No. You're not going to do that because that's stupid. That doesn't make any sense. You're being lied to. You're being fooled. You're being duped. And the majority of y'all don't even know that a third building fell down on 9-11. That's the problem. You know why you don't know? Because the mainstream media does not want you to know. The government does not want you to know that this third building failed because then you would start to ask questions. It's a big cover-up. You see that? Your politicians are in on the cover-up. Wait a minute, what are you trying to say? Are you trying to say that the Bush administration was behind the 9-11 attacks? No. I don't think Bush is smart enough to be behind the 9-11 attacks. How about that? It was the shadow government. Look it up. Do your own research. Like I said, your politicians are in on the cover-up. After actually reading the 9-11 Commission report, I was uh, disappointed to discover that the uh, report completely amidst the collapse of the third building that fell in New York on that day, which was World Trade Center 7, which was actually not hit by a plane, and uh, 
For this reason, I was wondering if you would support a new investigation into 9-11. Uh, from all that I know about this, uh, the investigation really was done on what happened. I, 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 every now and then I, I, I meet somebody along the trail or ask me about this Building 7, but I, I have no evidence that this really occurred. Uh, this guy says he has no evidence of the World Trade Center 7 collapsing. We saw World Trade Center 7 collapse. So little old me and little old you has evidence, but he doesn't, Mr. Lieberman. All right, you know what? I'll tell you what. Let's ask somebody else. What happened to Building 7, Bill? Yeah. 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 I don't even know where it is. Oh, Bill, you don't know what happened either? Oh, man, dang. Well, let's, I guess let's just ask somebody else. Strategy for the, for the past decade. Uh, Senator McCain, the National Institute of Standards and Technology asserts that the collapse of the 47-story World Trade Center Building 7 on 9-11 was caused by fire, yet they acknowledge that the first 100 feet of that collapse took place at free fall acceleration. Now, engineers will tell you that fire cannot do this, and that the only method by which it can be accomplished is the use of pre-planted explosives. How do you explain this discrepancy of 100 feet of free fall without the use of explosives? Uh, to tell you the truth, this is an area that I am not very familiar, and if you would drop me a note and mention that we talked on C-SPAN, I'd be glad to get you a, uh, a more complete answer, but I honestly, it's every once in a while I have to plead ignorance about an issue and this is one that I have not been involved in but I'll be more than happy to look into it and thanks for calling McCain you're ignorant on this issue that's crazy let's ask somebody else World Trade Center 7 was brought down um, on September 11th at 5 20 in the in the evening uh, the leaseholder of the World Trade Center complex, Larry Silverstein, gave a uh, public interview on PBS in 2002, and he said that they pulled that building, which is a demolition term for intentionally bringing down a building. This man made over $5 billion from those buildings' destruction, and I want to know if there was ever a formal investigation into Larry Silverstein, the leaseholder of the World Trade Center complex, and his ties to this entire event. I don't believe there's been a formal investigation. I haven't heard that. I don't know that. I do know that uh, they, the, that wall, I remember, was, was in danger, and I think that they made a decision based on the danger that it had of destroying other things that they did it in a controlled fashion. Uh, Thank you, Mr. Kerry, for clarifying that situation. That's John Kerry, you know, our Secretary of State. Now, you asked him this same question, and he's going to run away from you. But at the time, he let the people know what the deal is. Demolition experts, you know what I'm talking about. This thing was planned. It fell exactly the same way North and South Tower fell. McCain, in on the cover-up. Bill Clinton, in on the cover-up. Lieberman also, clearly in on the cover-up. Now you're saying to yourself, well, why would they do something like this? I don't understand. They want to bring about a new world order. Oh, that's that crazy stuff. No, nah, man. They want to bring about a new world order. Let's ask David Rockefeller. This present window of opportunity, during which a truly peaceful and interdependent world order might be built, will not be open for too long. We are on the verge of a global transformation. All we need is the right major crisis, and the nations will accept the new world order. 9-11, was one of those major crises to help bring about the new world order. The new world order is about a one world government, one world religion, total control over everybody, the police state that you keep hearing about. Yes, that's why they do false flag attacks. And that is also why you will never see a 9-11 truther do a terrorist attack. I don't care what you hear somebody say. 9-11 truthers don't do terrorist attacks because 9-11 truthers understand that if they do a terrorist attack, 
then it would help bring about the New World Order. Since the New World Order, they use major crises to bring that about. They use false flag events. They use terrorist attacks to take more of our rights. So 9-11 truthers would not be the ones to do these terrorist attacks. And if you ever hear that a 9-11 truther is doing terrorist attacks, then doggone it. You got yourself a false flag. They are trying to bring about this new world order. Let's listen to Biden. The affirmative task we have now is, uh, is to actually um, uh, create uh, uh, a new world order because the global order is changing again. You see that? That's our vice president talking about bringing about that new world order. Bill Clinton said Republicans and Democrats alike want to bring about the new world order. Look it up. Daddy Bush also called for a new world order. So who's the crazy people here? You know, y'all keep electing these conspiracy theorists. They are the ones talking about bringing a new world order. Well, what about Bin Laden? Yeah, what about Bin Laden? Check out this report that's been out for years. Debunkers, could you please debunk this article because it's been out for years? You know, it just doesn't make any sense. Report, Bin Laden already dead December 26, 2001. You see the website. I got the link in the description box. Click on that article for yourself. I'm surprised they haven't taken it down yet. It says Bin Laden died from lung complications. Can you believe that? And it's funny because I believe this article. Let me tell you why I believe this article. We have not seen Bin Laden since 2001. What do you mean? He's been putting out tapes. Yeah, so is Tupac. We have not seen this guy. He's put out audio tapes. Then the CIA says, oh, we can't confirm that it's his voice. It's somebody else. And then they come out with the stupid footage of him supposedly watching TV but it's a side view. You can't really confirm that that's really Bin Laden. So that's garbage. Come on, y'all gotta, y'all gotta get better proof than that. And then the fact that we supposedly finally get the guy who's behind 9/11, because that's the whole thing. Bin Laden is supposed to be behind 9/11, so we gotta go over there and get him. Remember Obama? We got him. We finally got him. Yeah, you got him. And then what you do with him? You get them, you don't show any pictures, there are no pictures of dead Bin Laden. We're going to need to see those pictures. Hey, debunkers, find those dead Bin Laden pictures. Can you do that? Yeah, work on that. There are no dead pictures of Bin Laden. And then Obama takes Bin Laden's body and just throws him in the ocean. The most wanted guy. The most wanted terrorist. Number one on the list finally get him after all these years and you throw him in the ocean? We have to give him a proper burial. Oh no. Something's wrong with that. That's called a cover-up. We're trying to hide something. This article says Bin Laden is dead. There has been no proof that has proven this article wrong yet. Bring on the proof and I'll start believing y'all. But for now, I'm gonna believe Bin Laden was already dead before then and you're lying you guys are lying selling that propaganda another thing about bin laden is um he has never really been linked to 9-11 the way you think he has no he's the mastermind behind 9-11 ask the fbi go to fbi.gov look at the website you will not see 9-11 listed as one of the things Bin Laden was wanted for. Yeah, 9-11 isn't on there. Other terrorist attacks are on there, not 9-11. You've all been had, you've been duped. 9-11 was a false flag event to bring about the new world order. It's time you wake up. 